It's a huge week for Manchester United. We kicked off in the perfect way possible by beating Liverpool at Old Trafford. A wonderful 2-1 win. One of the best first halves we've seen at Old Trafford in a long, long time. But now we've got Sevilla. The round of 16 UEFA Champions League. After a 0-0 draw away in Spain, Jose Mourinho's team have it all to do. Technically, we've got the home advantage, but if Sevilla score one, we've got to score two. Who will Jose Mourinho start? Here's my start at 11. Now, as you can see, I'm not changing the formation from that Liverpool game. Why would you? I'm very much an advocate. If it's not broken, don't fix it. And that first 45 minutes against Liverpool, one of the best we've played this season, we came out aggressively against one of the most aggressive and attacking teams in the league and put the game to bed effectively within 20 minutes from two wonderful Marcus Rashford goals. I think we should set up in a similar way against Sevilla. That's why I played De Gea in goal with Valencia on the right. I would probably start maybe Luke Shaw or Ashley. It depends if Ashley Young can play a full 90 minutes again. I'll start Ashley Young because he was so wonderful against Liverpool, had Mo Salah in his back pocket. And for the centre-back partnership, I'm going to go for Lindelof and Smalling. I wouldn't risk Bay. Bay was mad against Liverpool. Brilliant, but mad. He really is a madman. I love him. He's an absolute crazy bastard. I do love him, but I wouldn't start him. He went down a little bit injured, lasted the full 90 minutes, but why risk him? Just give him a rest for this game. Give him a rest for the Brighton game in the FA Cup. Then he's got an international break. He can come back fully fit at the end of March. And I would start Lindelof alongside Smalling. Now, in midfield, I'd absolutely start Matic with McTominay. Pogba, same situation. Why risk him? Maybe because it's the Champions League round of 16 game. Maybe he's going to be fit to play. I'm not sure. McTominay was absolutely wonderful against Liverpool. At any point so far in his young Manchester United career, at any point where people have doubted him, where people have said, oh, this occasion's a bit too big for him. Sevilla away in the Champions League. Chelsea at home in the Premier League. He's done it and he's played wonderfully and that arguably his game against Liverpool was his best game in a United shirt. Jose Mourinho for a man who doesn't like to play academy products he's doing so so well in bringing McTominay through and McTominay is rewarding Mourinho's faith in him by these fantastic performances and hopefully that will continue against Sevilla. So I would start Matic and McTominay. Now it's in the attack where maybe you might make some changes but I don't think I would. I would start Rashford on the left, I would start Sanchez on the right with Mata, and I would start Lukaku. I just think that front four really, really worked. Rashford, his first start in 2018 in the Premier League. Wow! Those two finishes were absolutely outrageous. That chop back, the Ronaldo chop, we've seen it in the past. But just the precision of the chop, the power in the shot, the precision of the shot. Perfect goal. And he followed that up, yes, it was a little bit of deflection, but Rashford, right place, right time. He's absolutely got to start in this game. And I would start Mata and Sanchez. Sanchez again against uh, Liverpool. He's lacking his own identity at the moment. He's struggling to find his place in the team, but he should be in the team. He definitely helps in the team. And I would play Mata because he was a player who really linked our attack up together. United's team is being accused of not being a team this season. A team of individuals rather than a collective unit. Mata is the glue that helps stick that together in attack. And of course, you're going to start Romelu Lukaku up front. He is in fantastic form in the last few games. You know, against Liverpool, we knew that we had to negate the press, avoid that midfield, and that depended on Lukaku having a good game. He bullied Lovren. Why it wasn't Van Dijk coming over to cover him, I don't know. Liverpool just let Lovren go for it. And he bollocks it all up because Lukaku was so, so good. His head has made all the difference. His head has made the two goals, effectively. So I want to see Lukaku start here with Sanchez, Mata and Rashford behind them. Mata and McTominay in the middle. With Young on the left back, we've got Valencia right back, Lindelof, Smalling and De Gea in goal. That will be my starting eleven to face Sevilla. You know, you've got to say advantage United. We're at home after beating Liverpool. We're in good form at the moment. You know, last three Premier League games, come from behind to beat Chelsea, come from behind to beat Crystal Palace and beating Liverpool at home. Three fantastic results. Yes, the 0-0 away to Sevilla wasn't good. I was there, it was a Poor, poor game from United. But Mourinho is very much an advocate of drawing away and winning at home. Now that will prove to be vindicated if United do win on Tuesday night. And I think this team can do it. But who would you start? Let me know in the comments. Drop a like on the video and subscribe to United People's TV. If you're new to the channel, we'll see you soon.